Tonight, Contact 7 Investigates is getting answers for viewers who called us claiming they were bullied by a company working with Denver parking lots. And we found out that this company is responsible for dozens of lots. Here is Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kowaleski with what you need to look out for. And I've never had an issue before. They're very misleading. Brett Jordan and Pat Dillsaver share a common frustration. Received this parking notice when I got back. Found the ticket in my windshield wiper. $75. A hefty fee. Both reached out to Contact 7 not because they can't afford a $75 ticket, but because they want a little parking lot justice. It's not a financial issue for me. It's about trying to uh, to uh, put a bully in, in its place. They threaten you with going to collections. They just they seem to be a bully who just tries to make money however they can. Both are seeking accountability because they both paid for parking and they both got tickets parking in downtown Denver. Pat parking in this lot at 21st and Welton and Brett in this lot near the pavilions on Glen Arm. More than enough proof that the uh, that the parking was paid for. So when you showed them you bought a parking ticket and paid for the parking place, what did you expect? I expected them to say no harm, no foul, you paid. Both Brett and Pat have provided proof. They paid to park in the lot. They had the parking receipt and credit card records to prove it but both got ticketed on a technicality. The reason for the ticket was the receipt was not readable. When I came back, it looks like the ticket had come to about right here. Not quite sure how it slid down, but I know I probably had it displayed correctly when I left. After getting their parking violations, both reached out to an Aurora-based company called Parking Revenue Recovery Services. They indicated that uh, the, that the only thing that mattered was that the ticket was upside down. It didn't matter that the parking was paid for. Is there part of you that wonders how many other people have had the same exact thing happen? I do. I do. And listen to some of what we uncovered at the Better Business Bureau. After trying to contact by phone three times, no one answers the phone. This complaint is unfair. The timestamps show that I paid the parking. He's in charge of investigations at the BBB. This is a horribly run business. You're listening to real complaints. They haven't responded to any of my emails either. Testimonials detailing real frustrations. I would have been better off to park on the street. Ezra Coopersmith works as the investigations coordinator for the BBB. Received a lot of complaints as well. Uh, they have over 100 complaints with us just in the last three years. So it's probably not surprising Parking Revenue Recovery Services has an F rating with the BBB. And after all the calls and this report, the company finds itself in the middle of a BBB investigation. I think consumers are right to be outraged and frustrated if they have an issue um, that they bring to a company and the company really doesn't make a good faith effort to resolve it. What's your message to that company? Stop preying on people and using the fact that they have no recourse or real power against you to just fatten your bottom line. How should this story end from your perspective? You know, I think there's probably a, a, an outcome that can include some refunds to, uh, to folks that, that got bullied. In the end, like many others, Pat and Brett have spent many hours chasing some sort of justice. So after several days of consideration, the management of Parking Revenue Recovery Services decided it did not want to answer our critical questions. Instead, it sent us a two-page statement that reads in part, PRRS has voided both notices and refunded the amount paid, despite the fact the company also says the notices were issued correctly. So they got their money back in a bit of a mixed message. Now, the company also says Following our investigation, it has made this change, adding the words place face up on dash to parking tickets, a move to better inform consumers and maybe solve the problem. And Shannon?